It's my pleasure to introduce our first speaker today, Mr. Scott Turnbull, who is the National Technology Leader for US Ignite. Scott's background includes 20 years of experience in academic, scholarly, and public sector IT before joining US Ignite. We had him fly in last night from Virginia, and so he's here today to talk a little bit about uh, the, the US Ignite initiative at the, at the national level. Please jo join me in welcoming Scott. So thank you for having me in Richardson. I'm always excited to join the community here. The energy and the professionalism and talent in this community is one of the shining stars in the U.S. Ignite cadre of cities. So it's always really a big pleasure to come out here. U.S. Ignite itself, um, I went backwards. U.S. Ignite itself was launched uh, with inspiration out of the National Science Foundation and White House Offices, Office of Science and Technology Policy. And uh, it includes 200 communities across the country who are dedicated to, to developing next generation applications and that have transformative public benefit for those communities and that, that to tap their bright, best and brightest developers in each community to develop these applications. The Smart Gigabit Communities Program, which is what uh, I'm, I'm heading the technology section of, uh, Richardson is one of our cities, it's, it's one of 19 cities across the US and now as well Australia that's dedicated to build, building advanced applications that will not work on current networks. So we wanna take this pent up potential both of innovation and economy behind, that's held up behind the limitations of current networks and encourage the cities to express that and develop infrastructure that can allow entrepreneurs and researchers to build those advanced applications, to deploy them into the city, to prove the market for them and really launch the country forward in terms of its next set of iteration and generation of advanced applications. Our focus area is really around six key uh, national priority areas there, healthcare, transportation, education workforce, advanced manufacturing, public safety, and energy. Those were identified uh, at the national level of the biggest opportunity and need areas for the country where we think these advanced applications can pro provide the most transformative benefit. And the networks that back them, uh, this includes not just high-speed networks, but advanced networks like software-defined networks and, uh, and other network architectures that are not part of the traditional layer three architecture. We think this is gonna provide cities that adopt them uh, a competitive advantage going forward in the next five to 10 years. Looking at communities that have traditionally been part of uh, national, the national leadership for technology development, sure, they'll stay part of that. You know, the Silicon Valleys will have their place. But looking nationally, it's communities like Richardson and the Dallas-Fort Worth area in general that has really the forward thinking, the area that a community, that a, a, a company will want to relocate to and find uh, their, their workforce in this area to start their next innovative project. And I, we really think places like Richardson are gonna be national leaders. They've already expressed that so far and they'll continue to express that going forward. The goal of the uh, SGC program is to develop 60 applications over three years between these 19 communities. We're well on the way. Uh, the first year was mostly a startup process, but now that we've got everything firing on all cylinders, we really see a tremendous flood of innovation coming out of the Richardson area. So these advanced networks that are being put in place, you have an economy behind that that I'm excited to see come. And uh, it's been very, very sort of enriching professional experience for me to engage with the developers that I've found here in the Richardson area. This is all geared towards developing a sustainable ecosystem, though. It's not enough to just make a prototype and get something out there. We can prove that advanced things can be done and interesting projects can be, made, can be brought, brought out, but can they be constructed in such a way that the community can continue to leverage them for public benefit over time, that they can grow, that interested entrepreneurs can come in, create projects out of them and productize them if necessary and if appropriate, or cities can take them over as part of their vital city infrastructure. We're migrating nationally towards an individualized experience. We've had these broad level experience where people can get out on roads and you can load web pages over the, over the internet. We've been able to do that 20 years, but it's, the challenge has been advancing beyond the standard page load that we've had over our internet for the last 20 years and into a tailored experience for each one of you in the midst of the large infrastructure of the city. So can you provide real time information for farmers who want to better plant their fields, for commuters who have sensitivity to its pollutants so they can choose in real time a different route home that it wouldn't trigger, let's say their asthma. So tailored individual medical treatments for, indiv uh, for people coming out of the large medical centers here in the Richardson area. Those are the types of 
uh, programs that we're looking at that we really think are going to be transformative going forward over the next 10 years. And again, places like Richardson really are at the forefront of doing that. So we're trying to identify developers who can do this, feed a set of best practices to them, seed a community across the country of test beds where they can not only install these applications locally to prove them, but find partners when they want to go forward with creating businesses out of those or creating nationalized programs, that they have a seed of communities that they know they can go to to provide a critical enough mass of end users and, and, and market adopters for them to bring that forward. So that involves uh, organizing a set of best practices for not just doing uh, uh, academic prototypes, but how to construct that code or those services in a way that makes it sustainable, that can make it installed in secondary markets and bring that forward. That cities that are installing them have some basic assurance, uh, these shared applications that they have some basic assurance that what they're adopting locally is sustainable and they, they won't just uh, go out on a limb and have it sought off by installing a prototype application, that there's some real thought. And we bring in the tradesman uh, trades of software engineering and network engineering into the process of developing these prototype applications. So that's what we're focused on. And all of these, these connected national professionals are a vital, uh, vital element of that. Uh, we, you saw G introduced earlier. He's been uh, your on the ground operations focused person. He's been tremendously helpful in connecting with all the technical professionals here. So uh, he and I will be uh, great resources for you if you have technical questions, uh, moving uh, an interest in any of the SGC programs going forward. Uh, I look forward to taking your questions later and thank you again for having me here.